Beth? Beth Harris, AP. This is for Chris. Take us through the final possession and especially your decision to drive right. <laughs> well, um, you know, we we got the ball in and what we tried to do was get uh, Mike Conley to switch on. Uh, so that's why I screamed for Maul uh, because obviously Tony is the, the best defender. Uh, they switched for a second and, uh, you know, Maul threw it back to me and he, Tony came back to me and played as good a defense as you could have. And I looked up to the clock and thought to myself, uh, I better get a shot off. So I just tried to attack, and luckily I made the shot. Gary George, in the Valley News. Chris, that was quite a performance by yourself, especially, you know, in the final stretch, scoring eight points. Talk about your motivation and inspiration. <laughs> I don't think it's that dramatic. <laughs> Seriously, it's just, uh, <laughs> it's just basketball, you know what I mean? And our team, you know, in the timeouts, you know, Blake kept telling me even going into the fourth quarter to be aggressive, be aggressive and down the stretch. You know, we knew Zebo was in foul trouble. We tried to bring Mark away from the basket. And just try to be aggressive and try to make, uh, make some plays, especially the way Conley was blowing by me on the other end. At least I could do is make a couple shots. On this side, Ted. Ted Sobel, KFWB. Uh, Jamal, uh, how big was the chip on your shoulder in the first half and coming out and uh, really establishing something? And, and Blake, how much did you love watching this guy take over? Well, honestly, it's more about winning than anything. I know a lot of people say, you know, go out there and prove why you should have been this or that, but you kind of feel like you've improved it all season, so it's not about that. You just want to go out and win. And um, Tonight, my teammates told me to be aggressive. You know, I think when especially us three and the other guys that are aggressive. It's hard to key in on, you know, three guys. And guys are stepping up, and it's about winning. And that's all, all I was really thinking about. Blake? I, I mean, I loved it, obviously. Uh, you know, it's funny. Grant and I were talking after shooting on the day, and we were talking about the six-man thing. It was on the it was on sports center, and Grant turned to me and said, he watched Jamal's going to have a big night tonight. He's going to come out hot. I was like, well, I hope you're right. And uh, it was. <laughs> I'm right here. Uh, Jill. Jill, Jill Painter, LA Daily News. Blake, can you talk about um, your first quarter you got going offensively early? Can you talk about the difference between tonight and, and that game one for you? Mm -hmm. uh, everybody just told me to be aggressive. You know, my teammates got me got me open shots, got me easy easy looks, and you know, like it gets, gets me going. And, of course, I mean, some of them fell. And, um, you know, it really started with us and how, our, how we you know attacked and we, we kept moving the ball. We kept it you know, from side to side. We didn't you know, stand still. And, and, you know, that, that's, that's the reason for the easy shot. Shamal, did there be any adjustments in this, in this, in this second half thing? Chris, you called Jamal in the offseason. Mean, this is the guy that you really wanted on the team. Talk about what he's meant to this team the whole season. <laughs> so first, Jamal. Oh, okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm not used to being up here. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the first half, I think, you know, I was really, really trying to be aggressive, and obviously the second half, they paid more attention, you know, but I think that's what's special about this team. The first quarter, Blake had it going. The second quarter, I had it going. Third and fourth, Chris had it going, you know, so when, when we're going like that, and I think with all three of us, especially being lead scorers in the season, we shoot a high percentage like that. It's tough for any team to deal with, but they made some adjustments, obviously, and other guys got going, so I'm not going to force the issue. Eric. Hi, Eric Pincus, uh, HoopsWorld.com. Uh, Blake and Chris, you were here last year. Can you talk about playing this team last year and struggling through seven games and then going up 2-0 and what you guys need to do, what you learned from last year? <clears throat> what we learned from last year was uh, that it takes a lot of focus. You know, like each game, like we keep saying, is a game in itself. Uh, you know, carry over points or possessions or foul trouble or anything like that. And, um, we just held serve. You know, now we got to go down to, to Memphis and you know, try to steal it, steal the game. We got to be greedy. You know, you got to be greedy. Try to come out game three, be aggressive. Know that they'll be at home in front of their fans with a lot of energy, and uh, you know they feel like they need to win two games at home now. We'll go Beth, Danny, you're next. Yeah, um, Chris. Uh, what were you guys saying to each other there as the refs were reviewing the the play there at the end? Uh, we was talking about um, if they wanted me to be in front of the rim. I let him tip it in or, or let the DJ. You know, <laughs> ultimately, we decided to let them get it to rail. That's why we weren't huddled up on that. <laughs> and, uh, we were just talking about not overthinking it. You know, it was 0.1 second. 